Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today we're going to be making a paper catapult. Now, at any point in this tutorial, if you want to skip ahead to a certain point, you can check in the description, and in the description I've listed all the times where um, different parts are started at. So if you want to skip to building the arm, you can check in the description and see when that occurs. So to start off the build, we're going to start by using this dollar store dowel right here and rolling a sheet of paper around it. Now we're going to have to do this a few times, so I'm just going to show you the basis of it. Roll it up around the dowel and tape it off. Now these cylinders made out of paper will be the building blocks for our trebuchet. So we're going to have to build a bunch. I start off with five, but I end up needing seven, I think. So we'll start off by cutting it in half. And measure it out halfway and use that to cut the rest of them in half. And with a bunch of these half pieces, we're going to start out by building the base of our trebuchet. Now that the base is complete, we're going to have to build the arm of the trebuchet and the axle that it rotates around. So we start off again with another one of these generic um, rolls. And now we're going to roll another piece of paper around the roll we just made. This is going to be the axle that the arm rotates around. And tape that off just the same. Now once we pull the smaller piece out, we can cut it down to size. And the bigger piece, since it was made by made around the small piece, it will rotate around the small piece. You can slide that over like that and then glue it into place. And as you can see, it rotates freely around the axle. Now it's time to build the arm. And we build this in the same way we built all our other paper cylinders. Once we have the arm, we just go ahead and glue it on to the rotating part there. Now we're going to take a small chunk off the end and we're going to glue that onto the other side of the arm. This is where our counterweight is going to be mounted onto. For our counterweight, we're just going to use a roll of coins. I'll tape the pennies up so they stay together properly.
And with that done, we'll now just wrap the pennies in a roll of paper, just to keep the same look as the rest of our catapult, or trebuchet, sorry. Now we can mount our counterweight on the other end of the catapult, or trebuchet. And now we're going to use a plastic bag. This is where our um, payload is going to be carried in. Just cut out a piece of plastic bag into an oval shape. Now we're going to glue one end of string around the arm of our trebuchet. I'm going to stick it through the middle to see how long it needs to be and get, give a little extra slack and cut it there. Now we're going to tie a loop so that it slides over the end of the arm and can slide off easily. To finish it off, we're going to glue in the piece of plastic bag, which is going to be what carries our payload. And there you have it. This is our finished trebuchet, and you can go out ahead and test it for yourself. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end of my video. If you liked it, you can like and subscribe and that'll help me make more cool videos like this. And of course you can check out my YouTube channel to see all my other projects. You can also follow me on my social networks and visit my website joshbills.com to uh, get any parts you might need and see all my other projects. Thanks.